everyone, it's Jenny. Welcome to another process video. The layout I'm making today is using this beautiful black and white stripy piece on a diagonal from Crate Paper Craft Market Collection. And the two triangles there that you can see I've already cut out are also from the same collection and I've cut that um, pattern out of one of the 12 by 12 sheets because it was too pretty to just use as a whole sheet and I wanted to be able to um, add this to a few different layouts. So I had realized that my um, video had stopped playing so I had, had already gone through and cut some pieces that you can see me sticking together now and they were for matting um, and so you didn't see that but it was simply just going through and cutting up some pieces of paper so it's nothing that you have not seen before and nothing that you you know would particularly care about missing so I've actually pulled out some vellum I got some vellum the other day I have not used vellum in a long time and have just used that as a couple of layers within this um, frame and I also used my ruler just to rip some of the papers off at the bottom um, which I have seen Missy do on YouTube and it's either Missy Widden I think it's Missy Widden I don't know sorry Missy if I've got your surname wrong I think that's how you would say it but she always just uses her ruler and I uh, you know, love that raw um, edge effect so I've decided to do that so at the moment all I'm doing is building up some layers with some little pieces of ephemera that I have in that white tray to the left and I've actually pulled out a few pieces of Kayser Craft um, 6x6 paper pad and it has some little elements in there die cut elements that you just punch out so I'm using some of those and actually some of the paper pieces underneath the matting could have also been from Kayser Craft. So this is a little bit of a mixed collection layout. So I'm just grabbing my leftovers. So what you see there in the tray is all I have left from the um, cutter parts from the crepe paper sheets and from the um, little ephemera die cut pack. So I'm pretty much down to my last little pieces. And I don't think that I'll be making another layout um, from these bits and pieces at all. But I will use whatever's left over for another project. So I'm just literally grabbing some pieces off that tray and tucking them under just to add a little bit more dimension and pops of colour onto this layout. And as you know, I've said before, I love to cut things in half and tuck them under. I don't see any point in using a whole die cut piece if it's something that I really love and I can put one half in one place and the other half in another place. I'm quite happy to do that and so that's what I'm doing now. So I've got that little squirrel there that I have tried to add to the page but he's not going to make it on so I don't end up getting him to work at all so he will be removed at some stage. So it's just a matter of continuing to lay things down and prop them up if I feel that it needs a little bit of dimension and just add things to the page. So this is one of those pages where you know I couldn't contain myself and I add colour at the end and inking and then I look at it and even though I really love it I'm looking at it now thinking oh, it looks so nice, kept nice and clean. Why do I always have to go and make everything grungy well not grungy as far as dirty but just you know it's clean now it's not clean at the end but you know I'm still happy with the end result I still really like that so you know it's okay I just you know sometimes could learn when to stop and perhaps now would have been nearly there and I would have been happy but probably not who knows because I would still look at it and think it needed to add something anyway so you know it is what it is I do like to add mess at the end of my layout so you know I'm being true to my style of scrapbooking and you know that's all that matters so just um, filling in where I think there are some gaps 
see look there's one of those little pieces that I tell you that I'm going to use on another layout and maybe you think I probably won't and I'll throw that tiny little bit of scrap away but you know look I didn't and I do use them so every little piece that I put aside I actually do add and they you know when you've cut the middle out of a project life card they are just the perfect little si little size for adding some extra layering to a page and the good thing about doing it that way is you're not actually adding extra bulk um, of thickness to your page because it's only a tiny little bit around the edges and it's not bulking up the middle section of the layout so I've just um, bought myself some Prima watercolor pencils and I'm just using them to highlight a few areas around the page I'm just adding a little bit of pink I think it is um, around there didn't do much and I've decided that I would try to add a little bit of pink with this Tim Holtz little um, ink pad and I can't think it could be fairy floss or something like that I haven't got it with me at the moment um, but it wasn't light dark enough in color it was very very light so I've decided to pull out this um, aqua colour and just you know go for it, go to town with that one. Add a little bit more colour, which I do, and as it dries, it actually does lighten a little bit anyway. It's not so dark, but you know, I can't stop there. Once I've added these puffy stickers, I add a little bit of stamping and make it grunged up a little bit more. So I'm just looking at what I can add from the sticker sheet because you know I know that I'm nearly down to the last few left in that sheet and I would like to be able to use them, them all up and I know that I'm getting to my very last layout so I do have a couple of bits and pieces that I'll probably end up using I think I'm about one more layout to go because I can see that that little flower has been used in one of my layouts so that will get used um, and whatever's left I might just use for a little mini album for someone or on a card or something so nothing will get wasted and there I go trying to work out that little tiny tag that's chipboard but yeah I don't get it used on this layout so I just put it back in but I'm still going to try and this was the button that I tried to use on one of the very first layouts so I've actually made about 10 layouts with this crepe paper collection tried to use it on the one of the first ones and didn't work and I've tried to use it in many since and they didn't work and I finally just committed to sticking at that down now and no don't like the curvy things curvy things were not working for me don't like them tried to get those flowers to work no nope, no nope. indecisive look I, it was a quick definite no so here I am with the Versafine and I'm just adding some black um, it's a what, it, what kind of stamp it's got like numbers and letters on it and then I'm pretty much done I'm thinking yep I, I'm happy with that and I'm just going to ink the edges it's off screen a little bit but I'm just adding some of that teal ink around the borders of the layout and I get my black ink I think no I'm adding a title there you go I haven't even added a title yet so this is called Puppy Love and I'm going to prop some of those letters up on top of each other. I think these are the marquee letters from Crate Paper as well. and They are a beautiful aqua colour. And what am I doing out there? There you go. I'm putting a couple of them. They need to be have some foam tape underneath them so they actually stick to the page and not just to the letters underneath them like the O and the V actually need to be stuck to the page as well and the foam tape just helps give that the dimension underneath it and I'm going to write it was going to be called just love and I've decided that I'm going to call it puppy love so I will need to move those three triangles or diamonds I should say that are up the top and I put these down and thankfully they're not really that sticky so I am able to move them around the page a little bit usually once they hit 
on photo paper they are stuck for life there's no more moving but I could move these ones because they weren't very sticky at all so I do need to go and put some um, glue on them after to make sure that they are stuck for life in my scrapbooking page and so I just moved those little diamonds over as you can see and then I've decided that I would like to add some puffy stickers not puffy stickers enamel dots and these are enamel shapes I think they were from Prima I can't be 100% sure but I think that is the way so there I am adding some ink which means you know what I am just about finished so I will leave you with some stills and thank you for joining me today I hope you have enjoyed this layout and I will see you next time bye